Yo, what's good, my people? So today we are going to talk about how to identify order blocks. We are to, we are looking. We are will be looking at GBPUSD today, uh, and uh, let us dive in and see how to identify order blocks. So order blocks they are mostly on all time frame, time of time frame sort. So when you want to take your trade and you want to identify the order block so that you can make it as a confluence to make your trade even though you are far from so do this like we are in a form four hour time frame by the way even on a daily candle there are mostly there are order blocks so uh, for example like this green candle before this downward movement this is another block which resisted, resisted the price making this price going lower to this fair value gap this here is another block of which to Tangoja to to a vegetarian price we will wait for it to see how it will react in price if this can the candle closes below the order block means the order block has been violated and the next lot of liquidity is here and this fair value gap down yeah. So let us dive in and look for this other block on the lower time frame, of which these are the time frames that you mostly trade in. Let us start with the 15 minutes time frame. So on the 15 minute time frame, most other blocks in the 15 minute time frame most usually make sense for day traders mostly. So as you can see, how when you want to identify other blocks, they are this like this one this green candle before this downward movement this is a very nice order block of which is going to be tested here and we'll see how it will react uh, resisting the price from taking out this high and most of the time order blocks when you try to identify them just look at the bodies don't focus on the weeks mostly because as you can see here this the weeks usually the weeks sometimes the weeks usually go way past the order block but the bodies close lower than the order block that mostly gives you the sign that the market is willing to go on the other direction where you're trading with for instance here this order block this one these are 15 minute time frame as you can see this week closed took out this low but the body was right above right, right on the edge where the closing price was from the previous candle this order block this order block made the price go higher to take out this liquidity here mostly yeah but it formed like relative equal highs up there so let me show you another example let us drop down to five minutes candle there are many other blocks here. Mm -hmm. You can see another example of another block here. This black candle before this upward movement. This is another block. Then we can identify the, some other other blocks within the price movement. This is another block. This is another block of which it's a green candle. It resisted the price from going back to this candle. This black candle will set this price from going down to take out this low and created the chance for the price to go up, taking out this high here. Of which there that was the draw to liquidity. This is another example. This black candle before this downward movement. You see, as you can see, it was tested here, but it bounced back enabling the price to go higher taking out this liquidity and this liquidity those are more examples of order blocks you can go to your charts and try to identify order blocks they are all they are always on every time frame even on the one minute time frame now we are on the one minute time frame and as you can see here let us go to the new york gbp usd so let us go to the London London session thing. As you can see, this black candle here, oh, let's see this green candle here, 
before this downward movement there is another block this green candle before this downward movement it's another block of which it was violated here as you can see this candle closed higher than this other block meaning that the price is willing to go up the order block has been violated. The order blocks usually give you confluence when you want to enter a trade, mostly. When you want to enter a trade, you can use the order block theories, combine it with the fair value gaps, and you can have a nice trade. Mostly we use them when taking a trade and uh, uh, while putting on stop losses. We mostly put stop losses on the order blocks or in highs and lows. And with that, let us meet in the next video.